In terms of like me and myself and my queerness, I definitely think being on stage and being unapologetically queer has given me confidence to explore my queerness in other areas as well. Hi, I'm Becky Hill and this is my Attitude Award cover shoot. And there's been a couple this year, um, one of them being playing on the other stage at Glastonbury. I've worked my entire career to be on that stage. I think I spent most of my set crying, so I was just so grateful to be there. And I, I have to mention the Double Brit Award win as Best Dance Act. To be up against people like Calvin Harris and Eliza Rose this year was a real honour. I was definitely in good company, so to win was really special. So I know I said last year that my queerness was still in its infancy and a year on, I would still probably say that it's <laughs> in its infancy. I think my love for, my love for people have definitely grown. My own personal relationship is stronger than ever and I'm looking forward to getting some time to actually get married. But I think in terms of like me and myself, definitely think being on stage and being unapologetically queer has given me confidence to explore my queerness in other areas as well. We went to San Francisco Pride, which was a really beautiful moment after the, after the show. And it was so beautiful to see everybody in different, to be in a different country and to see other queer people protesting and celebrating is a real, makes you feel so at home. And I think that's the most beautiful thing about queerness is that you have a home no matter where you go. And I definitely feel welcomed in wherever I go. Dance music in particular has had its challenges when it comes to accepting and celebrating queerness. Not just accepting, but pushing queerness to the forefront. One thing I have seen that has been beautiful has been drum and bass. And what I'm seeing at the moment is pioneers like Mandy Dextrous, Nathan X, the return of B Complex, who is a trans woman and has done some of my favorite drum and bass songs of all time. And to see these people not only just get a platform, but to be at the forefront of pushing the genre. I hold Mandy Dextrous entirely responsible for this new resurgence of speed bass. And it's so beautiful to see not only queerness on stage, but to see drum and bass, and especially when I was growing up, which was such a white, straight environment, to become way more diverse and way more celebrated, and for people to feel like they are more welcomed into that space that was so traditionally blocked off for, for, for certain people. I think there is a long way to go. I think house music could do some work considering house music has its origins deep rooted in black queerness in the clubs of Chicago and Detroit. I personally would love to see more pioneers of house music like Honey Dijon trailblaze the way in this day and age like Frankie Knuckles and Jamie Principal and Candy Staten and Sylvester did back when disco and house was emerging. To win the Attitude Music Award is, is mind-blowing. For somebody like me who always felt quite average, I felt very average at school. I never really won anything. I never really felt special. And to now be at a point 11 years deep into my career in the music industry and to be winning any kind of award, but in particular, the Attitude Music Award is so, humbling for me. I have not only wanted to throw myself into the LGBTQIA plus community ever since I've really discovered my queerness, but to be recognized as somebody who is a prominent feature in music is a real honor. I am so honored to be a part of Attitude. I've been reading it for years. I'm always looking out who's on the cover. I'm always looking at the stories. So to be one of the cover girls is incredible. And not only that, but to be at such a prestigious award ceremony with other incredible people is a real honor. And I feel incredibly grateful. It hasn't quite sunk in yet.
So I'm very excited, I'm very excited. <laughs>